that's going from the tap. This goes about five gallons in an hour. I do that twice a day, once an hour and once in the early in the morning. These are all overflow from the bulkheads. And they get one that's uh that you can see clearly now. Okay, so I have an out, an inner tube, half inch slip, goes right into the bulkhead. Right. That's the height of the tank. Up there. Now when I slip this on, the outer sleeve is taller than the inner sleeve, so the water has to come from the bottom. Okay. Basically what it's doing is taking the heavier material that ventures towards the hole over the top. But the rest will collect in, in one area and it's so easy to vacuum. And my lower tanks, because they're long ways, I have a slight tilt that's raised slightly in the back. Well, it's maybe uh, kind of three degrees but it's enough to move all the debris forward. And I just go in and, and vacuum that up. That's why the front, most of my tanks are really spotless. Real easy now, it takes five minutes to do all these tanks. Oh, I shouldn't say five minutes. It takes about 20 minutes I can do all these tanks just before the evening water change. But I don't think I'll be doing it every night. But, um, happy fish. Now uh, this section is done, I mean, that section is all done. It's just not um, on automatic water yet. It's all connected to the drains. We got to redo the airlines on top. These have to be connected to drains tomorrow. And the water feed is already ran. We just got to connect that. Then we got to redo the air valves. and. I'm hoping by tomorrow afternoon we're done. I'm out of here. I mean, not out of here. Michelle would be so happy I'm out of here. That Lewis is out of here. And then I'll concentrate on my breeders next week. All new breeders are gonna be setting up. Well, I love this room. These LED lights take some getting used to. I just hope I don't end up with some uh, darker water, green water. These tanks look a little... These aren't on the system, you see. These 12 tens are just regular 10 gallon tanks with filters. I gotta throw a second filter in. But I just noticed some of these tanks are a little... I don't know, maybe the beginning of algae? I hope not. If it is, I'm gonna block out the light here. The lower tanks are really good. Anyway, if anybody's got questions about the um, how that system works, if they don't understand it, don't comment on YouTube. Send me an email, guppyman1 at comcast.net, and please include your information. You know, like your first name, your last name, not your guppy given name, your real name. Maybe you give me an address and a cell phone if you want to uh, chat. Don't call me, you can only text me. I'll schedule my phone call. All right, I'm going to bed. Good night.